So I'm trying to start a fire. Basically, I have a candle, um, lighter. I threw some paper in there. And then what I did is I uh, grabbed some twigs. And I basically put it around it, the glass. And the great thing about this is that the wind, if the wind comes, it doesn't really disturb the, the flame. And if you do this, if you want to build a fire, you could always bury this and your log can be on top. So if you have a log, it can be over the fire so it won't it won't um i mean it could be over the log so it won't put out the fire so if you have a log um and that flame hitting it for 10 20 minutes it it will light up and you can leave the 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 candle down there and let it burn because the candle itself is only like a dollar so It'll eliminate you having to spend a lot of money. It's great for um, fire starting. Or you could put a little bit of wax or even oil um, over some grass or something and light up the grass. And then the grass will act like a wick. And therefore, it will it will start up your your fire that way as well. So um, there you have it. It's a little life hack, especially in windy conditions when it's wet and stuff like that. So I think that's like the easiest way to start a little fire with a little bit of wax without having to deal with a lot of um, little things. So you get a little bit of grass, throw it inside of the candle or light up the wick candle first and then throw some grass in there and then you'll notice that some of the wax around it melts and then the grass will fall in there and those will start acting like um, like a little wick so all this this will basically turn into a lantern then you will put it under your log like that and then eventually that log will just be caught on fire and if you want you could retrieve it or you could leave it down there to ensure that the fire will continue and um, if you do retrieve it then you're basically using it just temporarily to get the fire lit and you could go and start the next one like that so yeah like I just put a bunch of these around the candle so that's why you see there's a bunch of them and uh, yeah, it actually smells really good too because it's wet wood. This is just a wood chip, which is the log in this case. And see, if I pull it up, you'll see um, there where it's already um, catching. See that? So, it works, you know? I mean, you can't really...
put too much because it will turn it off. But um, yeah. Anyways, I, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'll show you guys a a different video of me actually doing it. Um, on a bigger scale. But um. That's all you really need to get a fire started is, you know, like a little bit of, uh, of this stuff burning. And this is wet too, it's from the lawn. So that's why it's super hard for it to start up. But even if it is wet, it will start up with this little, with that flame down there. See, this thing is burning even further. So, so yeah. Well, I think I turned it off. See, but I'm messing with it. That's why if, if you just bury it a little bit, maybe like an inch um, below the ground light it up and then the log right underneath it, uh, over it without disturbing it it'll, it'll catch on fire like that and the, the honestly the, the only thing you really need to do here is just um, do that and you're good Yeah. So, yep. It's a great way to start a little fire. And you guys already know how hard it is to start one. So, it'll eliminate all that crap you have to go through. There's my lantern. It's lit. There's my bonfire on a small scale. And I guess like if you really wanted to you could pour some of the oil over these twigs or or if you're going to or maybe even allow these twigs to soak in oil and and then light them up. That would be a good way to do it too. Anything that will light up. Probably putting too much, um, way too much stuff in there. But see, it's already lit. Right there. Yeah, I have way too much stuff going on in there. And then, but yeah, like, I don't know. I guess. Yeah, I have like paper and crap in there. So it's making it worse to to stay lit. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Um, you guys get the idea. Create your own, do your own, make your own videos, make them better than this, and be creative. Maybe you'll be inspired to do something more creative for other people um, that are desperate to start a fire or for emergency case god bless everyone be safe and be warm